Well, welcome back to the Samson Andrew YouTube channel. You've been following this channel since, well, the beginning, or if you've been following the V-Belt and Sun channel for quite a while now, you guys will know that I am pretty, pretty heavily invested into the Dodge vehicles. Mopar, been Mopar since before I even really knew what that meant, since I was a little kid. And well, I decided it was time to pursue some of my dreams and get some of these cars that I've wanted since I was a little kid. So the first car on the list has always been 1969 Dodge Charger. It's orange and it had no one on the door. Well, didn't find one of those right off the bat that I could afford. Ended up buying a 70 Challenger, all done up real nice. Got a deal on it, couldn't pass it, but I still needed to get the dream car of Charger. The 70 Charger popped up right here and another deal I really couldn't turn down and this one's gonna be done up might hate me for it, but it's gonna be black and mimic some of the stuff from the first Fast and the Furious. But we've still been hunting the elusive 69 Dodge Charger. But through a weird series of events, we might have found one that's gonna really check a lot of boxes in my department. And I'm guaranteeing you, a lot of you guys are probably gonna hate me for it, but wait till you see what we're going after today. This is my first RT Charger 69, and it is sitting on a pickup frame, lifted. Needs work. Headed to the old boy's house, we're gonna look at the parts that go with that car to really see if it's gonna justify the purchase or not because apparently he's got a lot of extra stuff that goes with it. <laughs> it, it probably doesn't get enough love because it just sits back here, but that thing's pretty sweet though. Did you build it? Yeah. Make it uh, nice again. It runs nice, it's just, uh, you know. It doesn't, uh, I mean. I mean, I can sit here, it's got the flowers, and pick apart everything along with it, but, you know, it's like when you look at it real quick. It's just neat. I mean, the fact that it's just chilling. You sent that photo, and I was like, is that a is that a shaker? And then I seen the little wing things, on it, or the little vents, and I was like, oh, what? yeah, yeah. I was yeah. like, these showing off. I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And you got a couple of them. <laughs> Modestly smiles. <laughs> Have all the parts to make the other real nice. At least you had an extra grill. Yeah. Got the all the stuff at the top. And the doors look like they're in good shape. And yeah, then yeah, no rust on them. We got them no rust on that bad boy either. We just. Do you ever watch a Vice Grip Garage? Yeah, every now yeah. and then. It needs an Italian tune-up right there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Might need to change the oil in it. Oh, well. All the trim, so that's the stuff to go up over, like, the the gutter and stuff like that? I don't yeah, know. I got uh, lots of those pieces. Okay, because like, I, I didn't have any of that with Jerry, but what? I got all that. And then I got uh, tons of 
Yeah, old headliners and mill parts and stuff over there. Another radiator that would fit in a B body didn't come out of one, but um, what else is here? What are we standing underneath right here? What is this? This is a Detroit diesel. There's a Detroit diesel in there? DLS edition. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever experienced so much. Oh, it's in a Ford. Yeah. <laughs> you got to put Cummins in this thing too? This one's got a Cummins uh, turbo on it. Um, but what the is hell is it? Dude, no, what? Yeah, she's on Mad Max every year. Check this out. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Look at that yeah. right there. Document that. That's so it. the first Challenger I ever rode in was my uncle's, and they got sold five, six, what, four, four years ago, About something four, like five that. Years ago. Yeah. On eBay, and you bought it. <laughs> what are the odds? Yeah, you got to find photos of what that yeah. looks like now. Yeah, when I go back up to work, I'll, I'll grab some. Is it Because this is by my memory from when I was in freshman year. Six oh six. Dr. That's it? That's it? That's it? That's crazy! <laughs> the most unreal day. You couldn't even make this up if you tried. But uh, we're going to go through with the deal. And uh, we're picking up a whole bunch of parts right now. So, detach the trailer. We're going to back this thing in there and try not to hit something. It's tight. We just loaded up all half of the extra parts that come with the car. Unreal amount of extra goodies. Arguably a lot of possible junk, but it's junk that I could use on to get that Danish out of here. Oh boy. That I could use for both cars at some point in time. Extra parts and unreal story. That uh, did I talk about that earlier? I don't know if I did. Did I? I don't think so. Oh. First ever Challenger I rode in. Somehow he ended up with it. That's a different story right there. But uh, we're gonna go back and pick up the car now. This is the point where we pick up the uh, slightly modified RT Charger. Slightly. See if we can finagle through there. I like how he's just driving the 5500 tone trailer everywhere is a daily right now. Oh, we got some stuff in the way. Here, I'll hop. I made it back to town. The Monster Lee is, uh, I guess you could consider this safe. I mean, she's got some bondo. I'm going to do a follow up video so you guys really get acquainted with the old girl. But, man, she's going to be orange and she's going to be repping a flag. Check her out over there, though. Just, just look at it. I got enough parts to go with this car to be able to finish my other car. All the trim pieces, window bezel kind of stuff. Just unreal amount of extra goodies. And we burned one full freaking tank of fuel today going to get in that thing. Been on the road today. I left the house this morning at 6. And shit, it's, it's after 6 right now. So 12 hours worth of hustle. And look at all this stuff that I got. Look at all. And that's only half of it. He's going to bring me the rest too. report right here so obviously this thing is going to be done up a little bit nicer than this but we got to have a thumbnail of this thing being a monster lee to really bring you guys into the party so i got this farm and implement rust-oleum 
Heavy duty. Closest thing I could find to General Lee. It's a Alice Chalmers orange. Need TNT Express to be a real general, but I got some stickers. We're going to slap on it here in a second. But that was one can. Did that whole shebang right there. And, uh, yeah. This thing, I got all kinds of good parts to go with this thing. That that was really what sold me on the whole deal. Plus, making a Monster Lee would be insane with a 12 valve in it. Um, but I got new doors. Got all the glass and stuff like that interior parts it's going to be a lot of custom stuff in there she needs some love might have been in a fire but this thing is going to be an absolute gem after i put a couple more cans of this junk on there and delete on the frame get the old one on the door those are 38s gentlemen this is the second gen cummins shorter than the charger that helped it a lot by having some flavor to it though <laughs> We're into this paint job, nine bucks right now. People make fun of you. Say you're polishing a turd. I don't can on the turd. <laughs> All right, let's talk about this car for a little bit while I got a camera lady. So this is a true 1969 Dodge Charger and it's an RT big block car from factory sitting on top of probably a second gen dodge 1500 they've put the axles in a different spot trying to make up for you know stuff not being the way it's supposed to be but this thing is just gonna be an awesome little gem i'll tell you that much at least i hope we got i got a lot of hope going into this so let's go back here and I'll tell you guys what the plan is because I'm not going to keep this six lug running gear underneath the thing. I thought about just swapping all the running gear, but I got a better idea. So I picked up this truck. It is a 97 five speed truck. It's got the long bed extended cab, which fits the wheelbase a little bit better for the 66 crew cab that's got a shorty, which is almost equivalent to just another long crew cab. This thing is sitting on top of a 98 Dodge with an automatic and a 12 valve. When these things are parked next to each other, I've got a couple clips I'll show you here at the end of the video. But the running gear, frame width, everything, frame length matches a lot better to go underneath this charger. And this one's already got a drop 12 valve, everything ready to go inside this with a built automatic. So aside from trying to squeeze a Cummins into this 1500's frame and trying to worry about getting different differentials and different spring leaves and stuff like that so it can handle that kind of weight. I just transplant this whole cab and everything will just slide over on top of this truck. And uh, that stuff will go underneath this car. It's a big Mickey Mouse hop around kind of an idea, but that makes the most sense. And uh, I'll show you guys some of the stuff that I got also to go with this car, because if you'll notice, it's missing the scope of the front. Stuff that this old girl's missing. It's got the factory 69 grill with some issues. Guy bought it from Matt. Big fan of his now because he's got all the parts that came with this car to fix it. And uh, it's got a new grill replacements to fix this grill and to complete another grill. We've got a bunch of trunk lids and stuff for it. And a whole bunch of nice chrome bumpers to go with this old girl. All the pieces go underneath here. Got all that and the new doors. But when I say this car was chopped up, let's look at it on the inside because I know some people will be like, come on, you got to show the inside. Close your ears. Door, definitely not for this. I mean, it fits the charger. They're all the same, but was not the original. This is all bondoed in here, bondoed. I'm going to buy a lot of bondo. All the floor has been cut out of this car. It's got the tilt column out of the Dodge pickup truck that... Um, the frame came with and they did some splicing on the frame and they didn't actually shorten anything I think they gave up and did something else but I'll tell you what there's about 16 miles worth of weld on this of zero penetration welding it just it made an appearance and they must have been welding with like something less than 110 their hamster on a generator or something 
but all this stuff in here i'm gonna have to do custom floors and all that but it does have all new quarter panels some of the body work has actually been done somewhat decent so it's got new quarters all this is solid front and rear valence i have those inside the car there and all this tail lights all that mess it came with the car tons of work like beyond like tons of work but this thing will come down the line after the 66 gets done because that is actually going to be a little bit less if you guys are not new to this channel or old channel crew cab got a little cancer down in here i ordered new ones of those for the front and rear but other than that this cab is solid so we got some swapping to do <laughs> i'm not gonna lie <laughs> it's it's kind of badass seeing it done up like that <laughs> oh hang on just hold it up, slide out the side there. Well, there you guys have it. It is in fact a true 1969 Dodge Charger and the really insane part about it. it found a true, not only a 69 Dodge Charger, but it has the VIN tag of XS, which means it is an RT. I cannot believe somebody chopped up an RT like that I'm not saying it's past saving, but it's in a new direction of which I'm happy to continue to grow, go down with on that car. So we're going to put the 12 valve in it. We're going to get that thing dialed in and it's just going to be something of a hoss. Um, this car is obviously first on the list to get done. We are getting dangerously close on this thing. So I'll give you guys a little update. I have several um, edits filmed for this, but we got the possible disc brake conversion done, exhaust hung, interior. We are closing in on success. But, you know, your factory standard car, this thing was triple red um, and not the good one. It's more along the burnt orange kind of a flavor. And this thing's going to be triple black when we're done. And I cannot wait to see this one finished. It is an XP car, small block, 318. Nothing too insane as far as VIN tags and build sheets compared to with that car. Judging by what the VIN tag, there's no fender tag. But if there was, it would probably tell us a bigger story of awesome stuff that we would be even more bummed about considering somebody's hacked that car up but that's what it's going to be i can't think of a car that would be a bigger head turner than a general lee on its own but turning it into a monster truck and calling it monster lee i just I cannot imagine you know something more hardcore so I aim to get the cummins in that thing get that wrapped up but we got some other stuff on the roster to get done first but i want to show you guys a car if you would uh, take the time hit that button down there that says subscribe we're growing this channel a lot faster than my first one grew i'll tell you that much and i really really appreciate that hit the like button share this video let's get that car out there get it known get it in circulation the quicker we grow this channel the quicker that car will get done same thing with any of these here so thank you guys so much for watching hit them buttons it means the world we'll see you guys in the next one stay safe and go out there pursue your dreams and Get some of these cars, bring them back into circulation, even if they're turned into something that you just can't even fathom for an RT car. Or get yourself a free boat. We'll see you guys later.